Welcome to the fourth video of the series about the cycle of fifths. In the last video we have learned how to get the degree of a scale and the code of an harmonized scale, how to get the function of the codes, how to transpose code progressions, and a little trick to memorize everything easily and quickly. In this video we will see the attraction of the codes, that means which codes are good to anticipate other codes. So we are going to know how to get the secondary dominant, why is the progression 2, 5, 1 important? How to get the secondary diminished code? So, let's dive into the circle. How to get a secondary dominant? Let's start with definition of the dominant code. The dominant code is a type of code that uh, is built on the fifth degree of a diatonic scale. It uh, typically consists of a major triad plus and minor 7, forming what is known as a dominant 7 code. In the C major scale, the dominant code, the fifth grade, is G, that gives a sense of tension and has to return to home, to the tonic. And uh, what is a secondary dominant? A secondary dominant is a code that functions as a dominant code, or a code other than the tonic in a given key. The concept is used to create tension and enhance the harmonic interest in music. Essentially, it allows composer to emphasize a code within a diatonic progression by treating it as if it were the tonic of a different key. Let's take the C major scale and, for example, in a progression we have to go to D minor. In order to create more tension, we can use the dominant, the fifth, of the D major scale. It's very easy to get the dominant. It is the code on the right of the code we want to get to. In our example, the code we want to get to is D minor, so the dominant that is named secondary dominant, since we are not in D major scale, but in C major scale, is A7. That is not a datonic code of the C major scale. Let's see how it sounds on this simple progression. C, A minor, F, G. Now let's use the secondary dominant to get to each code. We can get the secondary dominant of A minor just looking on the right of A. So the secondary dominant is E7. Let's go on. The secondary dominant of F is C7 and the secondary dominant of G is D7. So now the progression is C, E7, A minor, C7, F, D7, G. Why is the progression 251 so important? The 251 progression is extremely popular in various music genres, particularly in jazz. Let's see its features. Music is movement, and the movement is generated by a succession of moments of tension and release. We have just seen the progression 51. The dominant code, the fifth, generates tension and instability that have to be resolved as soon as possible to the root code that gives a sense of release. We are at home in the root code. Now let's take the 2-5-1 progression. The 2 is positioning on the circle of fifths just before the dominant of the scale. That's really interesting since we can say the progression 2-5-1 is equivalent of the progression 5-5-5-1. In fact, the 2 has to resolve to 5 as it is the dominant code in the G major scale and the G needs to resolve to 1 as the dominant of the C scale. Let's see how it sounds on this simple progression. C, G, A minor, F, C. Now let's finish the phrase with the progression 2, 5, 1. C, G, A minor, F, D minor 7, C7, C. How to get secondary diminished chord? From what we have seen so far, the concept of the secondary diminished chord is extremely simple. Music is movement, generated by tension and release. In the functional harmony, the classical movement is tonic, that stabilizes the key giving a sense of release, predominant, that starts the movement, and finally D, that gives a great sense of tension and stability, that need to be resolved with tonic. The fifth is a dominant chord. So, are there any other dominant chord in addition to the fifth? Yes, the seventh diminished. A secondary diminished chord is a type of chord that functions as a leading tone chord to a diatonic chord other than a tonic. Let's take a C major scale and we want to go to A minor. We can do that by introducing some tension, as we have seen with the secondary dominant E7 that is the fifth of the A minor scale, or if you prefer, the fifth of the sixth of the C major scale. 
or we can do that by introducing a different tension with the secondary diminished code G7 sharp diminished. That is the seventh of the A major scale, or if you prefer, the seventh of the sixth of the C major scale. You can easily find a diminished seventh chord of any chord by moving 25 minutes clockwise. Let's see how it sounds on this simple progression. C, A minor, F, G. Now let's use the secondary diminished to get to each chord. We can get the secondary diminished of A minor just looking 25 minutes clockwise A. So the secondary diminished for A is G sharp 7 diminished. The secondary diminished of F is E7 diminished. For G is F sharp 7 diminished. E7 diminished is the 7th. So now the progression is C, G sharp 7 diminished A minor, A7 diminished F, F sharp 7 diminished G, B7 diminished C. So let's do an example. We have a C major scale and we want to go to E minor. We have three great opportunity. The first one is to use the secondary dominant. The second one is to use the progression 2, 5, 1. The last one is to use the secondary diminished. If uh, we are in a C major, we have to think to be in A minor. The diminished chord is G sharp. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want more, hit the subscribe button, smash that thumb up and share it with anyone who might be interested. That's very important. In the next video, we'll see what are modes and their brightness. So stay in touch with us. See you over there. Bye.